Okay, so this is um, Beth Jokes uh, Unit 3, uh, P5, M4, Part 5. Um, okay, so we're going to move on to uh, potential progressions. Um, this one we need to make sure um, is a risk in itself, really. We need to make sure that the client is um, able to pro uh, progress. Um, so obviously uh, we can show this by if the client um, is finding the session too easy. Um, obviously just not trying their hardest because they know that they can do it. Um, again, this would link back to their parkour, so obviously their history of the sport. So you're not going to make them walk around some cones if they've been playing for 10 years. So again, we need to just make sure we know the signs, um, make sure that we know when to progress them, and make sure that it's not too hard for them. So obviously if they're just an amateur, we're not going to make them run at a full pace um, into locking through the um, cones. We need to just make sure that it's on a, uh, the right tempo for them. Um, and then finally, we've got the warm down, uh, the cool down. Sorry. Um, so there's three sections, uh, two sections to this. We've got the pulse lower and the static stretches. Um, we need to make sure that we do a pulse lower. This is just so we build the pulse up before we bring it back down. Um, when we're doing a session, we do this through every session. And obviously, the pulse, uh, the static stretches, sorry, a stretch that we do to make sure that the muscles are in their original state before they started. So, we've got um, four uh, sections involved in the pulse lower and the static stretches. The first one is the activity. Um, so, for the pulse lower, we're just going to start with a gentle jog, um, making sure that they're running around the area about three times. Um, obviously a fast speed at the start and working down to a walk on the last one. Um, so obviously we need to make sure that their RPE um, starts off quite high and we bring it back down to about two to three. Obviously because if we're making them just walk, we're not really stretching off their muscles, we're not really lowering their pulse. Um, so we need to make sure that we raise the pulse first before lowering it. Um, the intensity, we're only going to keep it to a low for three minutes. Um, this is because obviously if we're doing it over five minutes, it's going to be another workout for them. It's not really going to be a pulse lower. Um, so we need to make sure that we do enough time to raise the pulse and then lower it again. Um, obviously intensity would be another one. Again, we're going to start off at a medium intensity. We're not going to make them run um, or do sprinting because obviously this is a cool down. So we need to make sure that we start off at a medium intensity first. Just making sure that, that heart rate is raised a little bit before lowering it and obviously bring it down to a lower intensity. So this could be a walk for them. Um, obviously the next ones, we're going down to static stretches. We need to make sure that the activity for the static stretches um, involves the muscles that we've been using. So obviously for, um, for hockey, we need to make sure the static lunges. So we're um, stretching out the hamstrings and obviously the quads as well. And um, we do arm stretches as well. So obviously we're stretching out the biceps, triceps. Um, dowel toads as well because obviously we're swinging the hockey stick so we need to make sure that they're all stretched out. Again we're going to keep about three minutes the duration is going to be quite low. Um, we hold a, a stretch about eight to ten seconds so obviously we're getting the full um, effectiveness out of them but we're still moving quite quickly to get through them. because This is probably the most tedious bit of the session. The session is coming to an end. We need to make sure that the client's all stretched out and it is probably one of the most important parts of the session. So when they go home, there won't be achy, there won't be no uh, tension in the muscles for the client. Um, intensity, we're going to keep it quite low. This is just so we can return the muscles back to their original position when they started. So we're not going to do this, um, the, st the static stretches at a high intensity. This is because obviously we need to make sure that we're not stretching them too much to pull them. We need to make sure they've got a slight um, force pulled on against the um, muscles but obviously we need to do it at a low intensity so we stretch them out which will then again return it back to their original space. Um, the final one will be the teaching points for both pulse razor, uh, pulse lower sorry, and static stretches. Um, obviously they're um, involved with their muscles, this is probably one of the most important parts of the session because um, we need to return their stretches and uh, their muscles back to their original place. Um, so we're holding the, ses um, the stretches between 8 and 10 to 12 seconds. Um, this is going to be the um, most effective for them. Um, to make sure that they're doing it correctly, not causing any injuries to themselves, we could do what we call a mirror effect. 
to the client so obviously I'm doing this static stretch with them this obviously helps my muscles be stretched off because I would be working with the client and obviously them as well and obviously they're learning how to do the session as well